Okay, Ness, listen to me real quick. You can't be getting homesick this time. You'll die, and then I'll die, because you're not there to heal me, because you're dead. Okay, got it? Thanks, Jeff. Welcome back. It's Earthbound time. And time to get revenge on a boss I didn't think I'd die to. The clumsy robot. I had death by homesickness, so... Hopefully this one goes a little bit better? It probably won't. It goes directly to 47.4. Quit staring at my hips. Fine. Jeff, you can stare at her hips all you want. Uh, actually, that's something I wonder. get Jeff to kind of face her. Thank you. Nope, Jeff doesn't turn around. <laughs> it's a nest. It's only a nest thing. But if I'm not mistaken, I'm not mistaken, the sentry robots are not here. Okay, so that means all that's left to do is to, well, go to, that's the wrong door. This is the right door. All that's left to do is to refight the robot. Ping, clankety, clankety, rattle, rattle, twer, squeak, tweet, tweet, clank. Let's try this again. Lost the gear and some bolts. Damn. This thing dodges. Fired a missile making itself dizzy. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are having none of that. Okay. Uh, stumbled but fired a strange beam. It did not work. I forget what that does, actually. Clean the area. <laughs> Thanks, robot. Ate a bologna sandwich. HP maxed out. Uh-oh. I keep missing is reeling. I keep missing! Wanted to go and get a battery. Aw. Let the robot get a battery. It's wobbly. I keep missing. This is gonna take forever. This thing wants a battery. Just let it have a battery. It's not doing anything now. I think after it does that, it does nothing. This is... If I'd stop missing, all of a sudden some guys rushed into the room. It was Runaway 5! Lucky quickly ducked behind the robot. I flipped the switch and it stopped. Ha 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 ha! Jeez, what a loser robot. It was so easy to stop. That was quick thinking. Clumsy robot stopped moving. Jeff's level 37. Speed up by one, HP up by one. Hey guys, we would like to pay you back. We'll help you in whatever way we can. We don't have any money. We are strong, however. Let's break into the room next door. Except we need to go to the bathroom first. I thought that I heard a girl's voice. The room next door seems suspicious somehow. Let's go in. And... Stop! That's enough! Please, stop. I give up. I really do. Everyone got healed from that. Look at my skinny arms, thin body, and gray hair. I've become so weak since I lost the Monty Monty statue. I'm sorry I kidnapped Paula. I haven't done anything to her. Paula's a nice girl. Paula, return to Ness. I'm sorry I've created so much trouble for you. Ness, you finally made it here. I'm I'm fine. I believe you come and save me. Mr. Monotoli isn't really a bad person. Take some time to listen to him. Paula rejoins. 
I'll tell you everything. The Mani Mani statue creates an illusion. It attracts evil spirits and weakens your heart. The power scared me so much I hid the statue in the warehouse at Jackie's Cafe. I often went there to pray. Cryptic words appeared to me while I was in the illusion. Ness, your name appeared in the cryptic messages. Stop Ness and do so by your own hand. Or don't let them go to Summers. Or make sure they know nothing of the pyramid. I don't fully understand the messages. But someone obviously doesn't want you to go to Summers. Evil... Gygus? Or something? I could hear the name. Anyway, the evil side would be in trouble if you went visit Summers. Oh, on the contrary, you should definitely go to Summers. Especially because they don't want you to make it there. Would you like to hear the whole story again? No, I think we're good. Summers is located across the ocean. Take my helicopter. I'll open the door to my heliport. By moving a bear statue? Okay. I guess that works. You must go on. Ness, this is your destiny. Paul, it's time to say goodbye. Take care. Well, Paul is back. Meaning I can give this vital capsule to her. Perfect. And, whoops. And sure enough, everyone, he did heal everyone. But we head up here and get into the helicopter. Or not. Or not. Gee, I'm not even surprised. Ness, you pinheaded idiot, you're just a half step too slow. I'm getting out of here. Since Monotoli's become a plain old man again, I have no more use for him. This helicopter will re really come in handy. Looks like you're the world class loser again. Well, now what are we gonna do? I guess let's just go talk to Monotoli again and see if he has another idea. Because this is... Pogi took the helicopter. I hope he's okay. This bear won't attack you. He's stuffed. Ugh. I was a little dizzy, but now I'm okay. To get to Summers, we need to go back to Threed. Yep, somehow I know that's where we must go. Wow. You guys did a lot while I was in the bathroom. <laughs> you want to get to Threed as soon as possible? We can take you to Threed in our tour bus. I'll get the bus and wait for you just outside the building. Let's do it. Now the entire way back is just going to have the Runaway 5 music. I love this. <laughs> well, if he hadn't stopped in the bathroom, we'd get there. We might have gotten a little bit, bit of assistance, I guess? Actually, probably wouldn't have. Hello, how are you? This is Apple Kid. I think I'm a real genius. In fact, I know I'm a genius. Why? Well... I have discovered the primary enemy of you and of all humanity. We have to fight and defeat this being. To do so, we need to invent a machine called the Phase Distorter. I've got to find the wandering scientist, Dr. Andonuts, and make the, make the distorter. So I may be gone for a while. Later. Jeff, isn't that your old man? Oh, uh, Paula, I'm trying to talk to Jeff here. Isn't that your old man, dude? Okay. Are you a friend of the Runaway Five? Would an autograph be asking for too much? I don't mean your autograph, silly. Forty seventh floor. All right. What am I?
I'm off duty for my bodyguard job, I still have a lot of pent-up energy. But don't worry, I won't come after you. Unless you're kind of itching for a fight. A lot has happened to me. I have to try and sort it all out. Thinking's tough for me. Well. Yeah, this room's just empty. What about his old man? See how he's doing. Uh, he's not there. Well. I guess there's nothing left to do but to leave the building. Look, don't stand behind me and stare at my hips. Ness didn't turn around. <laughs> Ness doesn't care. I'm not staring at your hips. My lady's here. And by my lady, I mean Jeff. And by my lady, I mean Jeff, clearly. What do you say? Hello, baby face. You say the same thing. I hope my salary stays the same. You don't understand. This is a huge concern of elite businessmen like me. Oops. Uh, you're talking about a solitaire tournament? Do you even know what solitaire is? How do you lose your shirt at solitaire? Okay, you can get on the bus now. <laughs> There's no need to wait. I just get tossed into the bus. Alright, on to three. This is the second time where... That guy was dangerously close to the road when this bus was going by. That would have been terrible. <laughs> but how fitting that the Runaway Five are taking us to three again. Kind of think of it, we could have walked here, but I guess taking the Runaway Five's bus is a bit more convenient. Plus, Mr. Saxophone Dude's kind of keeping us all energetic, too. You know, his sick sax solo. <laughs> but here we go. We've made it. Oh, that's going on. Are they going to pull in front of the... No, they're right here. Okay. All right, we made it. I'm sorry we couldn't do more for you. Remember, though, we're on your side. When you're having a tough time, just think of our songs and imagine the Road with Five singing somewhere far, far away. By the way, why did you need to come back here? You must have forgotten some very important item or gadget here. How's that for a guess? Am I close? Well, you don't have to tell me. See you later and good luck. And there they go. It's nice seeing them again. After the buses started running again, I decided to come see my boyfriend. I really shouldn't have, though. Check him out. I think he's the bee's knees. Oops, I mean way cool. He used to be in a band. Whoa, dude, like my old girlfriend from Tucson hunted me down, man. I'm totally bummed because I have another girlfriend here in three. You, sir, are an idiot. You are a total idiot. <laughs> oh, what do you say? Visit three again. Thanks. I'm so glad you wiped out the zombies. Let me give you a kiss. Smooch, tee hee hee, I'm blushing. I'm going to pass that on to Jeff real quick. Jeff, come here. Jeff, come here, buddy. Uh, Jeff! There you go. There's the smooch from that lady. But, oh. The teddy bear from <laughs> the hint man. Well, we head back down here into where Jeff crashed the Skyrunner. And we painted over all the damaged parts of the Skyrunner. Now, I wonder how you start this thing up. I want you to stay, but if you can't, so long.
Thanks for every little old thing. Ah, here's the problem, and it's not too tough to fix. Hang on for a second or two. There. That should do it. Now, if we board, the Skyrim will take us back to Winters. With Dr. Andernut's help, I can modify the machine to fly to Summers. If Dad, I mean Dr. Andernut's, is not available, I'll have to figure it out by myself. Anyway, let's go back to the lab in Winters. That's all. That's it. Go, machine, go! And... Let's go ahead and make the return trip to Winters. With the assistance of this Skyrunner. Back in the clouds. And over the desert. Bye, monkey. And back into the sky. I like this music. I don't know why I do. I just really like this song. In particular. And as we fly back over Foreside... This flight is all so familiar to Jeff because he made it and then crashed. And we've made it back to the lab. Oh my god, monkeys! Thanks for taking care of my husband the other day. Oh yes, we finally tied the knot. Honey, don't just stand there with your mouth open. Say hello. So, you pass by a cave north of Stonehenge. Don't you ever wonder what's inside? Can't seem to stop thinking about it. Go and see what's there. We're gonna get out of here. We're still newlyweds, you know. Bye-bye. Oh, you surprised me. You're Ness, aren't you? Jeff wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. Dad! Take care of yourself and Jeff. The bubble monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I've known about it for a long time. The locals call the area Rainy Circle, but I haven't been there. I wonder what's inside the cave. I, uh, huh. I understand. Why are you checking out that place? I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. Oh, yes, yes, my co-worker Bigfoot dislikes violence. He's such a nice guy and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me. Well, for starters, I'm going to call Escargo Express because, my god, I kind of have some things I want to put away. Uh, there we go. I want to store the pencil eraser. There is no other place to use this any there's no other place in the game that this will ever be used. So go ahead and take the pencil eraser. The other thing is I want to teleport to the other side of Winters. Because there's that, there's the drugstore up here. Hi, monkey. It's me again, that chewing gum monkey's wife. My husband left me, left me here to go play with Tessie along the shores of Lake Tess. Okay. But let's get out a bunch of money. Oh crap! <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to hit the button. Okay. Uh, fifteen thousand. That should do it. Hello there, how may I help you? Well, I have a sudden guts pill that I'm not going to use, so I can sell that. Uh, let's look at 
other things I could sell. I'm not going to use the stag beetle. Let me see. Paul is hanging on to a silver bracelet and a coin of slumber, which I'm going to sell. There we go. And... No. I guess it's just time to buy now. The T-Rex is bat. Another step up. Let's go ahead and get that. The non-stick fry pan. We are now up... We are now... Upgraded offensively as far as we can get. And... The coin of silence. I want one for Ness... And I want one for Paula. These are still not as good as the Mr. Saturn coin, which is why I'm not getting one for Jeff. There we go. I have a, I have equipped everyone fully. No, not withdrawal. Crap. Um, okay. Deposit. Let's just... Oh, I didn't have 22,000. That was strange. Oh, cuz I was looking at the ba I was looking at the, at the balance of the account and not my money on hand. Duh. Well, <sighs> that was just dumb of me. But now here in Winters, we've got new enemies. These are kind of a dangerous kind of enemy. Let's start with the lesser mook. God, I hate fighting these things. The lesser mook. Glared with its eerie eyes. Okay, it didn't work on the teddy bear. So yes, it can diamond eyes. It also has freeze. And if I'm not mistaken, it also has fire. So this thing's kind of potent psychically. And Ness is level 41. Defense up by 1. HP up by 3. Well, okay. And what about other things that are here? The Whirling Robo. I snuck up on it. Uh, it's an upgrade to the Spinning Robo, for sure. I just forget what it, all it can do. I'm gonna. Hello, it's your dad. Been out there for a long time now. Ugh. No, not now, old man. Can you stop that? Okay. Uh. Okay. And here is the woolly shambler. I believe the woolly shambler has flash. So I guess there's that to look out for. Whirling Robo... Oh, Teddy Bear. Okay, everything's just firing beams right now. I think the Woolly Shambler has Flash. And uh, there's... Yep, nighttime stuffiness. Okay. I believe... Okay, those are the only three new enemies that are here. I don't remember what all the rest of... I hate this. Uh, freeze. Okay, never mind. It just has two levels of freeze and Paula's body solidified. Let's just get rid of this thing fast. And move right along. But we have definitely reached a more... Da this is a more dangerous win... Ters than the one Jeff went through previously. The aliens have come out in full force. 
Oh, I missed. Okay. The only ones I really know what they can do out of the enemies are the lesser mooks. I don't know about the other ones, and please... Okay. I'm not fighting a lesser mook. Good. I'm gonna life up Paula because I'm kind of nervous right now. Uh, I'm gonna use fire. I don't know how well these things stand up to these attacks or whatnot. Okay, fire, not good on the robot. <laughs> Lesson learned. Can they do something all something else? No, not 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 life up on Ness. Life up with Paula. Okay. There we go. Fire to beam. Eh, fire to beam. Uh actually Ness, you life up Jeff. Want to see what these things can do, but they just keep firing beams. Ah, shield. Okay, so it's really not not that different from the spinning robo. Flash alpha. Yep. It does have flash. I was right about that. The woolly shambler disappeared. Paul's level 35, offense up by 2, speed up by 1, guts up by 1, lock up by 1, HP up by 11, PP up by 2. That HP up by 11 was a result of using that vital capsule. I don't think the Whirling Robo can do anything else. And I think I've covered everything the Woolly Shambler can do, too. I already knew the Lesser Mook was a psychic, diamondizing opponent. Uh... Oh, sweet. I can rest here. Perfect. Outside, there are many monsters I've never seen before. I wonder what's happening. You stay here with safe. We don't mind if you stay. I can't stay. I have important business to take care of. Uh, more aliens! Oh, this is not a good combination. Uh, the biggest problem with this setup is... The Whirling Robo resists fire. The Lesser Mook stands up to it okay. And... Ooh, ooh, ooh that, that was, that was nerve-wracking, to say the least. I'm going to use Rockin'. Uh... Yeah, I'll just freeze the Robo. That'll work. Okay, the Robo's gone. The Mook's still got the... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, yeah, do that. Oh, don't you! Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm through the worst of it. The Mook's still got the shield up. Okay, he's gone. The thing is, right now, we have a Knight Pendant, and that's on Ness. We have Flame Pendant that's sitting on Je that's on Jeff right now. We don't have one that protects from Freeze yet. And it just so happens that the Lesser Mooks attack with Freeze. Uh, can he summon Tessie right now? I'm gonna just... I'm not gonna bother with a butterfly, because I can just talk to this guy. And get some stew. But really, all that's left to do now is to 
make this the journey across Lake Tess and get to the Cave to Rainy Circle. And I will be there in the next in the next part. So next time we actually enter the caves to Rainy Circle. I'll see you then.